we are leveraging uh, a, a global infrastructure with a level of redundancy and resiliency that just cannot be matched without a matter of investment that's cost prohibitive for virtually any organization. We leverage that in order to deliver a service that can meet SLAs that traditionally you can only you know, uh, meet those with uh, on-prem uh, services, right? So, but that's going away. PRIs are going away. Carriers are not investing in the kind of infrastructure that supports, you know, localized services outside of things like SIP. So everything's moving to an internet network-based, you know, uh, delivery. So we are leveraging that infrastructure to deliver a class of service that's just, you know, uh, been un unavailable up until now. And the beauty of it is, you know, even the kind of failover capabilities that, uh, you know, have been a part of traditional telephony where we have, uh, you know, maybe redundant PBXs, redundant carriers coming into uh, an environment, that's gone away and everybody's got net, uh, network, right? Everybody's investing in the internet, more services are being moved to network and while voice is tra traditionally the most important component of that, um, even that has been bundled into this, you know, the internet. Right? So um, while it still re remains the most important media for most organizations, like that call has got to happen, right? Being able to talk to somebody is critical. But so are other services these days, right? That's how businesses are differentiating themselves from one another is how they're able to deliver you know, their services in whatever industry they're in. We actually push really hard on investing in that network infrastructure, right? Put your money behind that. That's where everything's moving anyway. Past that, you can actually talk to us about how do we make voice that most important component? Critical, even while it's bundled in the same kind of delivery as all the other services you're consuming today.